You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. How can you sit there and say that to my face? Huh? Everything is working for my husband's sake. He's the rightful king of Aziama Kingdom. The gods are fighting his battle. Udoka should be made to vacate the seats. No. I said no. What do you mean no? Huh? Didn't you see the disgrace? That man and his wife brought to the royal family. Only though murdered your king. Enough! I forbid you from saying anything else. The truth stares in your face. And there is no how you can shed away from that. Udoka must vacate that throne. Or there will be a revolution. There will be no revolution. I said there will be no revolution. We have only one king. And that king is Udoka. Let me remind you, your husband is not of royal blood. He is my son, my son. Get that in your skull. That he continues stays in the palace will not make him a prince. Wake up, wake up, my dear. No, I said no. Ah! You say rubbish. <laughs> oh, I will leave. I'm going for a meeting. When you are true, you can go. If you don't want to go, if you don't want to go, definitely you can stay. After all, you are my daughter-in-law. You're saying rubbish. You're saying nonsense. He's lying. No. No. My husband. My husband is the one true king. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. Nobody. Not even you. Can you imagine? What nonsense? I have been expecting you to show up. I've been expecting you to come. Doka, I have finally come. I want you to drop the charges against my daughter, your wife. I want her to be freed from the police custody. I do not have any power to do that. Is left by the law because your daughter committed a capital offense and the law would take its course. <clears throat> your father, King Odinga, raped my daughter many years ago. I should have killed him. Immediately, he betrayed my trust in him by having carnal knowledge of my daughter. Then it is right for me to say that you and your daughter conspired to kill my father. Hmm. King Robert, I hold you on a high esteem. Will you stand before me today to vomit all this rubbish from your mouth. And I will proudly tell you that I do not have any respect for you anymore. How dare you? <laughs> you don't care. I think by now you're supposed to have known me. That I am such a one that does not care. I don't fret in the face of danger. I don't care a bit. Uh, have you ever thought why your father made you to get married to my daughter? Because the last time I checked, you were not in the list of your father's favorites. Yes, you are not his favorite son and he has no regards for you. You lie. 
I bet you today that your daughter will face the wrath of the law. And no amount of intimidation will force me to drop the charges against your daughter. See yourself out. When you're done, enjoy my palace. Ah, cowards. I always know. Coward. Why are you looking at me like that? If it's this food you are eyeing, you will not see anything, not even small. Come on, get away. Look at you. Look at who is talking. Me, looking at your food. For what? Look at the way you, you crossed your leg. Relax, eating food. Despite what is happening in this palace. Eh? See, I, I'm sad if you are not sad. I am sad for what is going on in this palace. Eh? Imagine, imagine, imagine the king that we are all managing. Getting to Princess Oledo Stone, she went ahead and killed him. Huh? Hi! I feel so sad. So, so sad. But do you think Pisidika will be crowned the next king? No, 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 no. Uh, we already have a uh, king. That devil's son. Prince Sidika would have made a better king than him. Wait, wait, wait. Is it Prince Udoka? You called devil's son. Is he not a devil's son? Is he not a devil's son? I'm going straight away to report. Uh -uh, come now. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Can't we have a conversation? You and who? Conversation, devilish conversation, me and you. It's not possible. See, let me tell you, I'm going straight away to report you direct to him. How dare you? Oh, baby, why are you sounding like this now? This thing you're doing is not good, though. This thing you're doing is not good. What do you mean by it's your tummy? I'm going to say, your tummy. Hmm. Huh? Eh. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, uh, since you don't want me to go and report you, uh, you one thing is involved here. Yes. What? Yes. Uh, either you bribe me with this <laughs> rice, <laughs> or I'll go down there and uh, cry like a cowboy bed. <laughs> my food, that busy. My own food. Hey, don't give me that. Let me go. Come now. Why are you behaving? Like this now? Why? Are you, it's just wicked. Why the you food, or? Like oh. It's <laughs> now, busy. Okay, now you don't Come want to be fit. Are you still dragging it? I'm be. Anna, go and get me. I will report you. Go and get me. Then they will be calling me Mata Anna, you is the one of the same kingdom. <laughs> then I will be Bugari. Mata Anna, you is one. It's about kingdom. This is how I got it. Imagine me. What is it? Where have you been? Can't you see I'm demonstrating on how my king step will be? Yes. I'm not ready for all this your nonsense talk. His Majesty wants to see you in his chambers now. Go and sit down. Dino Rodo, I know His Majesty is not around. Yes. So, which of the Majesty are you talking about? Look at this one. Who told you he's not around? He wants to see you. My hands, no, they dear. Don't say I did not tell you. I have passed my message.
For me, that is why I, I came. Yes, I just, I just, I just came. Yes. Abueze, I did not send for you. You've just disappointed me. Abueze, I'm highly disappointed in you. I'm sorry. He's a devil. Please, I love my job. I love my job. Is 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 devil's handwork. Wonderful. Please. So you're working with the devil. He instructs you on what to do. Pick the money. Hold it tight. You will. Let me tell you the truth. It is poverty that killed my father. It is even poverty that killed my grandfather. And I know that it, 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 the same poverty will still kill me. Eh, Igwe? It is in our lineage. Please. Fortunately, it is devil. You've, made, you've just made money for yourself. You see? But you see that money? It's your salary. Eh? Your gratuity. And your goodbye money. Eh? Please. In less than 30 minutes, I want you to leave this room. Else, eh? I will do what you regret. Please. Leave this room now.
boy said, you thief. <coughs> thief! <laughs> So you, 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 you set me up. Have you seen where this your stealing habits have landed you? <laughs> you set me up in this palace. Eh? Oh. Don't worry. One day will be your turn. One day will be your turn. I told you I was going to take my pound of flesh. Now you are out of this wonderful, beautiful palace. <laughs> The way she's laughing, witch, <laughs> witch, wizard, wizard. Better leave before I was crying for the king to know that you are still within the palace walls. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. You're breaking my heart with your tears. Please. Mom. I have made peace with God. I'm at peace. My only consolation is that Odinga is rotting in hell. I'm happy. If, if only my father had listened to us. If only he had listened and not used me as a bargaining chip. But I thought you were already in love and has forgiven Odenga. Yeah. Mom, this had nothing to do with love. Not even the love I have for my husband could stop what was coming. But I couldn't forgive him. I couldn't forget what he did to me. I was living with so much trauma. That trauma that every time I close my eyes, I see this man. It became a nightmare, mom. Why didn't you tell me? I am your mother for crying out loud. Huh? Because I was depressed, Mom. Your daughter was depressed. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to see anyone. I only listened to the voice in my head. The voices were telling me vengeance and revenge. Those were the words they were saying. No, oh, my baby. You shouldn't have listened to your voice. King Utinga has no say. Even your voice cannot be heard. <sighs> oh, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care what happens to me now. The deed has already been done. And I don't regret it. Mom, don't cry for me. Don't. Don't mourn me. All I need you to do for your daughter is pray for her. Pray for me because I know. I know this is the end of the road for me. <gasps> but I am happy. I am satisfied. I am happy. Officer. Mm. 
Without a word, you dived into the food and started eating. Eh? What brought you from the palace? Papa, you should, have, you should allow me to eat first. Let me finish eating, then I want to answer your question. Yes, you know, you know, you know, the palace is too far. Why did eh? you come from the palace? He even came back with his bag. Honestly. Will you drop that food? Drop it. Drop it and go inside. Go inside and sit down there. I'm coming to serve you your own food. Okay, okay mama. Okay. It's like you don't have respect. You just came in and doubled into your father's food. Imagine. This is what they call one for the road. Yes. Mama, I need to see you. 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 What type of picking be this? Sorry, now it's your son. I sincerely apologize over my son's behavior. I wish there is another way I would have done it. Iche, that's all right. I am not going to hold you against his actions. After all, you're one of my cabinet members and a respected one at that. I appreciate your confidence, my king. You're welcome. Your Majesty, please permit me to make a suggestion concerning your wife's case. What suggestion is that? Um, the case has become an embarrassment in the entire Esama kingdom. You see, there has been side talks, whispers, and I suggest you drop the case and quietly let her go. Chair, we are going to allow the law to take care of that. And if you don't mind, I wish not to discuss this. And why are you not answering my questions? I'm talking to you. Why are you not answering my questions? Because you're not making any sense at all. Did you say that to me? Huh? What is going on? I need to know. What is happening? Tell me. You've been so unconsigned. You didn't even ask me what I will take for breakfast. What is your problem? <laughs> breakfast. You are so shameless, Itika. All your mates are busy striving to make a name for themselves. Reaching for a greater height. And you are here talking about breakfast. I am so disappointed. Really? Watch your words. Oh no! You watch your words. I am not some furniture to be ordered around. Mm -mm. I am not. I am not guilty of your misfortune. Breakfast. We'll be ready in a few minutes. The mates are preparing it. 
so that we can have peace in this palace. Detective, <laughs> well, this is not why I called you. Detective, we are all from this country and we know how things work in this, our land. We have all seen how numerous cases has swept under the carpet from time immemorial. So what are you talking about? Um, are you aware that King Odinga raped my daughter. Are you aware of that? So what are you saying? Tell me. Um, detective, I believe that, I believe that there must be something we can do about this. Please, this is my daughter and my heart goes out for her. I want her released, please. Please, can you release this girl? Set her free. Eh? This is all your fault. Yes, this is all your fault. What is wrong with your head? Why are you so self-centered? What's wrong with you? Even after I have taken my time to brief you on so much effort I have put in to make sure our daughter comes back to this house. Yeah? I believe something is wrong with you. Yes, I do not care anymore. I want my daughter released from that home. I want my daughter back home. If Udoka decides to file for divorce, then so be it. Enough! Enough, I said. What is wrong with you? Ha! Ah. Listen, if you continue like this, because for some days now you have been behaving like a mad one, like little children. But if you continue like this, this, is, this will be the last warning. If you continue like this, I am going to forget anything that binds us together and then deal with you a little for you to know no name. Nonsense. That is because you have always taken my word with a pinch of salt. If you had listened to me earlier, we wouldn't have been in this mess. I said enough! Let me not hear a word from you again. Is she your daughter alone? Is she not my daughter? You lie. That is true. And do you know what? Both of you are no longer part of this family. 
I do not want to see you here again. Guards! I'm still your brother. And make sure they go out with nothing no. except their bags. Remember the special bond that we shared? Oh, you know of that? Why didn't you think of that before engaging war? Planning stupid things with your wife against my kingship? You never thought of that! Let's settle things out. Settle what? You are leaving the palace. Take them away. This is not my. Move it! 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 Move it